police probe two overnight murders, proving crime continues to wreak havoc in our communities. Both homicides happening just hours apart in the southern and western portions of New Providence. Clint Watson was on both crime scenes and has details in tonight's top story. Police are looking for clues that can lead to the person or persons responsible for two separate homicides late Saturday night into Sunday morning. In the first incident, shortly after 11 p.m., officers were called to the Garden Hills area, the corner next to Lil General's convenience store off East Street South. There they met three victims in a champagne-colored Honda Accord vehicle suffering from multiple gunshot wounds about the body. The occupants were inside the vehicle, which was parked outside of a home. According to reports, one of the occupants of the car was being dropped off at the house, and upon arrival, two gunmen pulled up in an SUV and opened fire on a car, shooting the male driver fatally to the head and body, and critically injuring a male and female passenger. The fiancé of the deceased was unharmed. The suspects reportedly had a high-powered weapon. When ZNS News arrived on the scene, the fiancé could be heard screaming and crying. Two ambulances also showed up at the crowded area of onlookers and police attended to the injured passengers. They were soon taken away and into surgery where they're listed in critical condition. The deceased remained behind the wheel of the car as investigators processed the area. On the scene, Superintendent of Police and Officer in Charge of CDU Paul Roll updated reporters saying this was not a random case. Well, this is a safe community. They, uh the, the driver in this case was dropping a person home, so this doesn't appear to be an armed robbery. So you know it's preliminary at this stage, and so we just need to follow um, our intelligence and see why it happened here. Okay, I don't believe it's random at all. Superintendent Stephen Dean also noted that increased saturation patrols have made it more difficult for criminals to get away, particularly those who travel with illegal firearms. However, he noted a need for increased surveillance in the southern areas like Pinewood and neighboring territories like Garden Hills. However, he appealed for more support from the public. We want to reassure them that our divisional commands have all been ordered by the Assistant Commissioner Uniform to mount operations in their respective areas. And I can tell you, based on the operations that have been mounted over the past couple of days. Um, we have seen numerous persons being arrested, drivers being cited, a number of vehicles being stopped and searched. We have recovered a number of firearms. Um, we want to reassure members of the public, put the clarion call back out to the public that the police are the public and the public are the police. We still need the public cooperation in all of these matters. Crime will not be solved alone by the police. It's not just a police problem or a government problem. We want to say and just as police were wrapping up investigations into a homicide in Garden Hills, they were then called to yet another homicide, this time in the Yellow Elder community. Uh, officers responded to this street here where they met a male sitting in his vehicle suffering from uh, apparent gunshot wounds about the body. Information at this stage is a bit sketchy and uh, we do believe that he was standing on the outside when he was accosted by someone and uh, the person's discharged shots in his direction hitting him it appears as though he ran to his vehicle in an attempt to get away and he collapsed there. Police say the victim appears to be in his 20s. Eyewitnesses say they saw a vehicle speeding off from the area. As police process that scene, the victim's mother could be seen praying and mourning as she came to grips with the tragic news. I must walk this road, yeah, like many others. Now police are asking anyone with information into these two homicides to call them at 911-919 or Crime Tipsters at 328-TIPS. They need your help in solving these latest murders. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News. Well, two other shooting incidents last night have left two more men nursing wounds in hospital. The first incident, we're told, happened around 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon when the victim was reportedly in front of his Mahogany Street Pinewood Gardens home cleaning his vehicle. When police say the occupants of a red vehicle pulled up and allegedly opened fire and sped off. The victim sustained a gunshot wound to the chest. Police then learned that a man was brought to the hospital around 1 o'clock this morning with a gunshot wound to the left side of his body. The only details police have released on this particular incident is that the victim was in the St. James area when he was reportedly shot. Both men are detained in serious condition in hospital tonight. And 325 drivers were cited this past Friday in a simultaneous island-wide operation by every police division here in New Providence. Besides that, police arrested several persons for outstanding criminal warrants, breach of the Immigration Act, assault with a deadly instrument, and obstruction.